By now, you've surely heard about Catalonia's desire to go it alone. The prosperous region in northeast Spain accounts for almost a fifth of the country's economy and believes it's paying Madrid way more than it gets back. Catalonia is home to 7.5 million people, boasting its own language, culture and history, which is why many Catalans consider themselves a separate nation. But it has been a part of Spain since the 15th century, courtesy of King Ferdinand and Queen Isabella. For the origins of the modern cessationist movement, let's fast forward to the 20th century. Spain becomes a republic, and Catalonia gets a statute of autonomy. But six years later, Franco comes to power and takes that away. The three decades of Franco's oppression only bolstered the Catalans' desire for independence. And after his death and Spain's transition to democracy, Catalonia got its autonomy back, but not enough, as many locals believe. When the country's constitutional court put limits on Catalans' claims to nationhood, it started a chain reaction. With protests and symbolic referendums in cities and towns across the region, some Catalans now compare Madrid's pressure to the decades of Franco's dictatorship. The region held a non-binding independence vote back in 2014. About 80% said yes to independence, but it was declared illegal by Spain. Lo que ha ocurrido el domingo en Cataluña no ha sido una votación democrática. But Catalonia is pressing ahead regardless and seems more determined than ever to be independent. Well, while police try to stop the vote in Catalonia, our teams here in Moscow and Barcelona will be updating you about the situation on the ground throughout Sunday. Well, meanwhile, police in Canada are treating the ramming and stabbing of a fellow officer as terror-related after finding an ISIL flag in the attacker's car. The 30-year-old driver has been apprehended. A manhunt followed the ramming of the officer, who was stabbed several times, though his injuries aren't life-threatening. The driver was stopped later but fled in a truck and hit at least four pedestrians in a high-speed police chase through the centre of the city. No deaths have been reported, though the condition of the victims is as yet unknown. Coming up after this short break, we'll have more on the stories that have shaped this week's news.